All right, Mac users, ever wonder what your computer is really capable of? Today, we're about to tap into a tool that's going to give you access to hundreds of powerful hidden apps and tools with just a single command. It's called Homebrew, and it's not just for coders or tech pros. Whether you're looking to speed up your workflows or install software, Apple doesn't even offer. Stick around. By the end of this, your Mac will be running at a level that feels supercharged. So what is Homebrew really? Homebrew is an incredibly powerful tool that lets you install, update, and manage software on your Mac without having to hunt down DMG files, drag them into applications, or worry about where they came from. It's all done through one app, and it runs through your Mac's terminal. Now, I know some of you might be thinking, wait, terminal? Isn't that for experts? I get it. Terminal can look intimidating, but I promise, I'm going to walk you through every single step, make it easy, and even share some tips along the way. And here's the best part. Homebrew is completely free and open source. This isn't some trial software that's going to start charging you later. This is built by the community, for the community. So let's get started with the install process. Before we dive into the install, there are just a couple of quick steps to make sure your Mac is ready for homebrew. First, let's check your Mac OS version. Homebrew requires Mac OS Mojave, or later, so if you're using an older system, it's a good idea to update. Don't worry, if you're on Mojave or newer, you're good to go. Alright, it's time to jump into the terminal. Open Terminal by going to your Applications folder, then to Utilities, and you'll find Terminal right there. If you're like most Mac users and haven't spent much time in Terminal, this might feel like opening the control room of your Mac, and it sort of is. But don't worry, I'll be right here to guide you through every command. So now that we're set up in Terminal, here's the big command that gets homebrew onto your system. You can find this command in the video description, so just copy and paste it straight into Terminal. Type or copy and paste this from the description of this video. What this does is it tells your Mac to go to the official Homebrew page, grab the installer, and run it right here in Terminal. Once you hit Enter, your Mac will start downloading and installing Homebrew. It may ask you for your Mac's password to confirm the install. Just type in your password, it won't show on the screen as you type, so don't worry if it looks like nothing's happening. After that, Homebrew does its thing. It'll download its files, set up everything it needs, and you'll see a lot of text flying by. Alright, the installation is done. But how do you know it actually worked? Easy? Homebrew has a built-in tool called Brew Doctor that checks everything is set up correctly. Just type in Brew Doctor and press enter. If everything's good, it should say something like, your system is ready to brew. And that's it. You've now got Homebrew installed. So what can you actually do with Homebrew? Let's start with something simple. Say you want a tool that lets you download files from the internet. One that's super reliable and faster than the usual download manager. Type in this command, brew install wg -at. In seconds, you've got wget installed on your Mac, and you can start using it right away. This is just the beginning. Homebrew has thousands of packages you can install this way. Alright, let's look at another example. If you're interested in coding or just want to experiment with JavaScript, Node.js is a super useful tool. With Homebrew, you just type brew install node and hit enter. This installs Node.js and NPM a package manager for JavaScript, all in one go. Normally, finding, downloading, and installing Node.js takes a few steps, but with Homebrew, it's done instantly. Now, one of the biggest benefits of Homebrew is how easy it makes updates. Usually, you'd have to go to each app's website, 
check for new versions, download updates, and install them. With Homebrew, one simple command, brew update, does it all. This command checks if any tools you've installed have updates and lets you install them instantly. Sometimes you might want to clean things up a bit or remove tools you're not using. Homebrew makes this easy too. Just type brew uninstall followed by the app name. For example, to remove wjet, it's brew uninstall wjet. This deletes the app without leaving behind any unnecessary files or taking up extra space. Homebrew has something called taps, which are like extra sources where you can get even more specialized software. For example, if you want to access Homebrew Cask, a version of Homebrew that focuses on apps with graphical interfaces, you can type in brew tap homebrew slash cask. This unlocks even more applications like Google Chrome, Slack, or Spotify that you can install right from the terminal. Once you've got Homebrew and a few apps installed, it's good to keep everything running smoothly. Homebrew has a few maintenance commands that are useful. Brew cleanup removes outdated versions of apps and frees up disk space. Running this once a month or so keeps things tidy. And there you have it. You're all set with Homebrew. And now you've got a powerful app manager right in your terminal. This is just the beginning. There are so many ways you can use Homebrew to save time, streamline your Mac, and access powerful tools you may never have heard of before. And here's the challenge I'm going to give you. Pick one new tool or app that you wouldn't usually try and install it with Homebrew. See what it can do, experiment, and then head back to the comments here to share your experience. I want to hear what you tried, whether it's a tool that made your workflow easier or something that surprised you with its simplicity. And hey, if you'd like more tutorials on how to maximize Homebrew, just let me know in the comments. See you next time.